Okay, here we go. So I uh, decided to go find some animals this morning and decided to go to a place here in Utah called Antelope Island. You know, I just kind of discovered the, the treasure of this place when I was, uh, when we were going through COVID and there wasn't a lot to do. There is this little island that's in the middle of the Great Salt Lake and it's awesome. You discover that there's all sorts of animals out there. There's coyotes, there's bison, there's bighorn sheep, desert bighorn sheep. There's even been a, a wolverine spotted out there at one point. Yeah, what makes this so interesting and all the more unusual is the fact that this was seen on Antelope Island. All sorts of, of birding. There's a, a wonderful assortment of different species of birds out there. There's a great horned owl that I know exactly where it's at, where it lives, and I'll show you where all that is. It's gonna be great. So let's go find some animals. asked about this one antler muley, and it's most likely the result of sparring with another buck, but I think he's going to be just fine. One of the things I'm most excited to show you is the burrowing owl. Normally I wouldn't be approaching the nest like this, but since the owls have migrated to Mexico, I can show you their summer home. They nest and burrow in many places throughout the park but the most common area is just south of the visitor center at the bottom of the hill on the east side of the road. Now the best way to view these owls are by binoculars or a telephoto lens from a far distance. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this place called, it's the Historic Ranch. It's called the Historic Fielding Gar Ranch. I got word that there were a couple of great horned owls at this ranch. Now this ranch is a self-guided tour showing the first permanent structure of a small cabin built in 1848 and other subsequent structures like the blacksmith shop, the bunkhouse, and the ranch house. It's a great stop for the kids. Gotcha. Just past the spring house is the birding area, and this is where I'm hoping to capture a good pick of the great horned owl. And after spending an hour of looking around up into the trees and, and not seeing anything, I thought my objective was futile, and just then I looked up and captured this moment. I've seen birds in trees, I've seen goats in trees, but I've never seen a porcupine in a tree. And yet, there it is. They really like the Russian olive trees. They first eat the olives, and then they eat the bark and then they sun themselves the rest of the day. Now, not a lot of people know this either, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a secret to Antelope Island, but if you come down here by the the ranger station actually is the the maintenance area where they keep all their equipment but if you can find that that pavilion that's storing the hay there's a little friend inside that is a great horned owl there's a couple of them actually and that's where they they nest and they sleep all day long sometimes you get a sense of well, am i allowed to come back here are the rangers going to come and arrest me no this is just a secret that not everybody knows about, but it's perfectly legal to come out here and to see these owls. 
Again, keep your distance and be very quiet and respectful of these owls. Don't get too close, okay? But let's go check it out. But the main character of Antelope Island is the American Bison. Although they once roamed in North America in vast herds, they nearly became extinct by disease and commercial hunting. To help ensure that they maintain their health on Antelope Island, once a year, hundreds of volunteers help round up the herd and move them to the North Holding Corrals. There they will receive their annual vaccinations and individual health screenings. Thanks for watching. There's a lot to do at Antelope Island. So until next time, go find some animals.